Okay, um, if you're watching this video, it should be at a point when you're working on your body paragraphs of your essay. Um, so I'm gonna go over a couple of things that are uh, important for transitional phrases or sentences, quotes, and citations. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna go over are your topic sentences or transition sentences. Um, this is the first sentence in your body paragraph. And I put an example here. Uh, one good key thing to take note of is just take a look at your thesis to start a topic sentence in your body paragraph. So let's say uh, I have my thesis and I'm gonna argue that a character displays three different types of emotions that explains why they display human characteristics. Maybe I'm gonna pull out one of those emotions for my body one. One emotion for body two, one emotion for body three. You can use that in your first transitional sentence. Um, they need to be clear and concise. It should include the topic, meaning from your thesis, in the controlling idea, meaning what you're trying to prove, okay? Um, now, what I mean by this is that it's, it's really tough to create these topic sentences or these transitional sentences um, because what it's, once you get started, it's easy to write, but however, it's, it's hard to begin. One thing is I see a lot of first, blah, 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 second, blah, 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 blah. I would kind of steer away from that. I would just say Ruth displays human emotion in a scene where blah, 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 blah. Or if you're writing about Shakespeare, maybe say uh, King Lear has narcissistic tendencies in act one, scene one, blah, 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 blah. And then you can go right into a direct quote of dialogue, okay? Now, let's say I'm at the point where I need to implement a quote. Here's a great slide on how to introduce your quotes. Please, please, please avoid saying, this quote shows, this quote explains that, da, 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 da. Okay, take a look at this slide. I will post this whole slideshow so you can take a look at uh, what to do and what not to do. Um, now, if you are going to cite this quote, the biggest common misconception that I see is there is a comma after the author's last name and the number. Take that comma away. And let's say I'm pulling a sentence from the text and there's a period here. Just get rid of that period and put it right here after my parentheses, okay? The worst thing that you can do is have a quote with no introduction. So you need to make sure you have a transitional phrase that introduces your quote. According to Stephen Booth, life is beautiful, right? This reveals blah, 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 blah. So in order to incorporate the quote, you must refer back to whatever idea you originally came up with, okay? I, you can't just throw a quote into a paper without informing the reader what significance the quote has. Uh, I'm gonna post this so you have some understanding on what all of this means, and you can email me with any questions that you do have, okay?